Hi, you crafters. Amy here with Amy's Wears, and I have a masculine birthday card to share with you. I have a couple of stencils from A Colorful Life Designs and a die from Heffy Doodle, which for some reason my footage is kind of cut off here. Um, but here is a photo of the finished card to show you the direction that we're headed. I worked directly on a card base and I just popped up the sentiment, but basically I'm going to layer up a couple of stencils directly on the card base. So to start, I have the Starry Top stencil from A Colorful Life Designs. This is a small woman owned business in Texas and I do have a coupon AmyFan10 if you shop you'll save 10% on your complete order but I have a smattering of some neutral ink pads from Catherine Pooler. I'm starting with some residual ink just to lay down kind of a light base layer through this starry top stencil and then I will come in with more saturated color here um, and my blending brush just to kind of give it some interest and some dimension. So I'm going to press heavier handed in spots and kind of skip over other areas just to give it that nice gradient in color. Now without shifting this first stencil I'm going to layer up the second stencil and this will only go through the openings of the first stencil. So this is the faded lines stencil. I'm going to come in with a really dark brown in this case and it's only going to fill in the openings of that first stencil. So it's going to be a really cool um, kind of textured look that gets masked off through the design of the starry top. So I'm just working over the entire card front here and then I will remove both stencils to show you this really cool design. Now this is nice and flat, single layer, easy to ship and I don't have to use some extra card stock. You can absolutely do this on a separate layer if you're more comfortable. Now here I wanted to show you this die comes with a cute little heart tittle but since I'm going for a more masculine look I decided to use the opening of the A as the tittle instead. So it's a really fun versatile way to use this die and kind of customize it more to your specific needs. So I have both the word letter and the shadow layer cut out in white and I'm going to use my 5x7 jelly plate here just to hold down the die cut. I'm going to poke out the little bits first with my pokey tool but then I'm going to smash smash it down. I'm smashing it. <laughs> I'm going to press it down on my jelly plate and it holds it perfectly in place while I do my ink blending. So just like on the stencil I'm going to go heavier handed in spots uh, lighter handed in others and I'm bringing in this darker color as well just to kind of give it even more variation. But this is a really easy way to hold down a die cut so that you don't smash it all up trying to ink blend it after it's been cut out already. So now I'm going to basically stick this down onto the shadow layer here. I'm going to clean off my gel plate and kind of set that aside. I did manage to misplace the other uh, clear bit. I think it was on my floor. I had to look for it a little bit. Go figure. But I'm going to set that aside and then use some liquid glue to attach this to the base layer. I have some Barely Arts liquid glue and I have my um, tweezers here just kind of hanging on to it for me and then I'll be able to line it up perfectly on this white shadow layer. And the white shadow layer gives it enough kind of um, separation from the background so that it's still visible what it says. Um, get that lined up with the correct margin around each side and then I'm going to place the tittle onto the top of the eye. Now I have some one inch foam tape. This is finally back in stock. Actually, I shouldn't say that. Maybe it's sold out again. Um, it was sold out for quite a while and I was able to get my hands on more of it. This is my favorite one inch foam tape from Scrapbook. It is extremely sticky, um, but I'm just going to put this down all over on the back of the shadow layer. I am mindful to kind of get the little parts that are overhanging because I don't want it to get smashed down in shipping if I do end up mailing this. So you want to make sure you have some even dimension. Um, another option here, if you don't want to cut out little fiddly bits of foam tape, you can use the die for the shadow layer and then just cut out some fun foam. You can either do adhesive back or make your own adhesive back if you have some of, like for example, the two-way stick tape that scrapbook sells. I have a huge roll that I'm never going to get through in my lifetime, I don't think. So I should really just start putting that all over the back of, you know, foam sheets that don't have adhesive and make my own um, adhesive back foam. But now I'm going to add some blingage. I have these cool resin droplets. These are so versatile. I feel like not only can they go with anything floral or water related, but they're not super glittery or feminine looking. They work for anything. So it gives a really cool design element and it looks like water droplets on your card. So definitely recommend this. I'll link this in the video description box below as well as any other products that I use that are available. But like I said, if you do shop a Colorful Life Designs, be sure to use my coupon and save some loot, Amy Fan 10. And that's going to finish the card. So thanks so much for spending time with me today. I'll catch you next time. Bye.